A new rail plan shows more options for future travel across Tennessee, and in some cases you might be able to get to nearby states by train. The Tennessee Legislature requested a study from the Tennessee Advisory Commission on Intergovernmental Relations last year. They recently released this study showing possible new routes in and out of the state. Reporter Chris Lucas shares those routes. Chris. The study explores five possible lines from Nashville to Atlanta, from Chattanooga to Bristol, then from Nashville to Louisville, Nashville back to Memphis, all the way up to Chicago. A new rail plan poses new commuting possibilities. It's a preliminary look to um, assess the, the potential for passenger rail. Interstate traffic is a driving force. And how that congestion uh, would affect quality of life, uh, tourism. Paying for it is an obstacle. The grant program is a, would be a major part of that uh, through the, the federal government's infrastructure initiatives. The plan looks at other states that already have done this. Can you get the speeds on the rail with the existing lines? There are a lot of challenges there without spending hundreds of millions, potentially billions of dollars. At some places in Tennessee, they can use existing lines. At others, they will have to create new ones. I'd love to see it happen in some form or fashion, but it's going to be a heavy lift. It's going to be the long haul. Mobility options open up many possibilities. The travel benefits of it, but then there's also the, the actual infrastructure itself, you know, the jobs, obviously. At the stations and along the stations, you have a lot of potential for new, new uh, retail, residential, housing. This study puts Tennessee's future of commuting in the spotlight. On some of the routes, if they decide it's just not feasible for rail, there might be incentives for the state to work with public, uh, you know, public-private partnerships to incentivize uh, more frequent intercity bus services. Next, TDOT has to do a more detailed study. It will require participation from several stakeholders like Amtrak, FRA, and bordering states. In order to upgrade existing tracks, it could cost hundreds of millions of dollars. It would cost billions of dollars to add new tracks in Tennessee. The CEO of Mobility and Development Coalition tells me the biggest difference when comparing to North Carolina and Virginia is that they have the money and structure in place already, whereas Tennessee is starting from very little infrastructure. Caitlin, back to you.